Now, the first thing we are going to do is create an HVAC plan in the mechanical system is basically to make sure that all the, all the rooms has the floor area, each individual room, and the wall should have its correct properties such as the thermal, proper, thermal properties, uh, R value and U value, to find the uh, glass panel which is the uh, curtain wall or the facade, we should have the correct uh, glass properties such as the wood value and shading coefficient and the thickness of the material of the glass and also the color. So basically all these properties will be used in the cooling load calculation. So now we need to know first is the floor area of the each individual. So how do we set it up? In the analyze tab there is a tool which is called space uh, this will automatically apply our selected rooms to copy or select the same name of the rooms that has been uh, tagged in the architectural plan so let's go here here we have this small water area and volume calculation let's select area and volume once we select the space now in order for us to place the space if we go in and place it it's not bounding to the rooms uh, because we have actually for that to set let's undo it delete this one and we have not yet set not forgot the link to the room boundary so here we're going to continue select this and right select these properties edit here constraints we need to check this room boundary property so now we can actually select here we don't need to add this now here we're going to start placing the spaces so let's go to analyze two space and select this as you can see it's already bounded into the room uh, let's select this here and let's try it first and let's select this and let's analyze and let's space it. provide some space tag here here and here now while selecting it Escape and then let's click it again. And here we can go to analyze and space link. Okay, here you can see it automatically change and copy the name of the room in the architectural files that we have attached. So basically, that is how we can do it. We we'll just follow through and place all the name, space name for all these rooms. So let's go to space, add another one. Also one thing to note is this spaces is also being counted by this identity data which is number 4, number 5, number 6, 7, eight. So once you place number 1 and you delete it, it will still continue to have it numbered Continuously, it will not go back to number one. It will keep number one even you delete it and you cannot replace it. So, that is one of the tips for working with spaces. So, now let's place a tag here so we can use number four, number five, six, so that. Again, let's select all these spaces. Let's copy the name from the architectural files and actually select it. And go to analyze space data. Okay. And now we have copied all this file. We can easily place also the architecture uh, I mean the area of each floor area of each room. We can 
select the tag um, now first we, let's go to the properties of each of these spaces we have to receive the property should be upper limit should be level two, and this should be zero so here we have to change it again or we can set match property so it doesn't work so we have to select it one by one there's no way to apply the property so we have to go through the hard and long process of converting one by one updating one by one we can select everything in one go uh, yes we can so that will make our life easier while pressing, while pressing control we can select all the other spaces so we can identically change it to level and make this same what it means is the limit of F set is sometimes is for the ceiling level. So click apply. Hopefully we have changed all so level two. Uh, because we did it, we, we did this update because we want to know the volume of the room in terms of the floor to floor level. So we're designing this system without any ceiling first. So that is how we're going to calculate our cooling load calculation. Here in the spaces, you also have the properties for the electrical lighting. We have a lighting calculation of the vertex values here. We also have the electrical load, which is very important in design of HPVC watts per square meter and other loads. So you can place it here. Make that one, you'll do it later. It depends on the type of uh, category of usage of each room. So here we have the floor area and we have the above that height of 4 meter and the volume. So basically here we can get all the data. We don't have any supply airflow because we haven't calculated it yet. And there is a proposal of outdoor airflow of 24.69 uh, because of the office space category. This will be changed later on based on our preference. So here we have the outdoor air interior from space type. We can actually change it to later when we go to here. We're going to select this uh, pool. We're not going to do any uh, heating, it's only cooling. So here we're going to set the space type. We're going to use the area per person image analysis. Uh, we're going to go for the office office space, either enclosed or open space. Or open common activities to building standards on age. Uh, here we're going to provide the open space on uh, office. Here you will see the area per person. Actually, you can also change this to your uh, preference typically it will be 10 square meter per person a uh, sensible rate it will be maintained and all this data later we can still use lighting schedule all this thing you can change to your uh, desired operating schedule outdoor air 2.5 can still adjust this area by metal air outdoor air by metal you can use custom by air change or whatever custom preferences so basically all this property will be used including load calculations once we have uh, gone into that step and procedure. So now we have applied the spaces. We can also see these spaces in the schedule. Uh, we need to go to analyze and schedule. Here we can go for the mechanical. We can also select the spaces. So we're going to go for the spaces, mechanical, so oh, HBAC, so nope, we're not going to the rooms, let's go oh, spaces, so we have to do that as well, in here we can get the uh, name, a uh, number, or name of the office, insert, Num uh, number, office number, and the level. We can also set the level. We can place also the area or the area properties. 
can also set the area per person if you want, just for info and the volume and other details you can insert it here. click ok and once you have completed all the data so you will have this space schedule for your system this is all in level 1 and this is the spaces the name of the space uh, numbers and the floor area of each space uh, area per person and volume we okay, actually can still change this you can edit the fields later on so here you can edit so basically that is how to create the space and prepare for the cooling bed calculation in the day. so this ends my video for the preparation for the spaces in the mechanical tank plate and thank you